Hi, thank you all for watching uh, Talks with Ibi Franklin live on Instagram. We've had a lot of work we're doing here um, on this platform. We've been able to help uh, feed about 13,000 people um, with, uh, across Nigeria. We've helped 35 businesses with 100,000 Naira, and we have also helped two businesses with $5,000 each, that's $10,000. Here are the few highlights of the interviews we've done so far on live. I want to say thank you all for your support. Um, enjoy the, the few highlights from the interviews so far. Thank you. Big shout out to Glenn Fiddick for supporting this show. I want to appreciate you. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Good afternoon. Welcome to the to this segment of Talks with Ubi Franklin. All right, we are live. Good afternoon. Hello, 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 hello. Ubi, how far now? Ubi, Ubi. It's good to have you on the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My brother. My hungry boy. Good day, sir. How are you doing? Alpha. How is everything? The black mentor, Uncle Joe. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me. Hi, how you doing, sir? How are you doing, bro? Good afternoon, Your, ex your Excellency. Ubi, how are you doing? Good afternoon. And good afternoon to all those who are listening in. But I will advise you, since you are doing something that I like and I want to support, go to Kotonou. You will cry to see how a small country has so organized itself. If you dare, you might win. But, you know, if you don't, I think Jesse Jackson put it in a very, in a very succinct way. He said, if I run, I might lose. If I don't run, I'm guaranteed to lose. If I knew my life, I'll sit down here to interview someone that opened like the gate for a lot of us to become who we are today. And I'm very, very honored to do this today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, on the my show. brother. Thank you. In 2023, I'll be about the same age when you became so, governor. So, so you're well on course. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, to be honest, um. I really like the show and it's been a, a very good platform for everyone to learn from and I also learned a lot of things from it. Now, nothing happens by chance. A lot of people today are not ready to learn because they're too arrogant and they have what I call intellectual arrogance. This industry is a jungle. It's a self, it's a self jungle. Mm. It's very difficult for artists to come together. It's very difficult for record labels to come together. Mm. You know, Ubi, if with, yes. with experience, you know, you sign an artist, we contract, the artist tell you do your worst. If you like, they go court, nothing will you could do. The artist is just wasting your time and your money. You know, as a young girl or as a young guy, when you have that youthful exuberance, you just want to be faster than your shadow. You are curious to know a lot of things. A degree in finance from the University of Reading. Yes, I do. So what influenced your change of career? Don't stay at home and, and dig when you come to. You have to go out. You have to experience life. You have to fail. You know, you have to learn. And uh, a lot of mistakes I made, but I definitely did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, good lesson. Yeah, how do people don't respect contracts in this country? Is that every contract that is broken is breaking the possibilities of the lucrativeness of the music business in Nigeria. Yes, and that is why many people have come and gone. Many people have stopped putting money in music because it makes no sense. So this is something that I, I appreciate your contribution actually towards the Nigerian development and uh, management board and a joint admission and matriculation board. Jam, sorry. Okay. Joint admission and matriculation board. Yeah. So you write that exam before you get admission. Right, and the point of artists, when we artists are hungry, we are ready to do anything. We are ready to lay down our life to see light, to succeed. Now, when you see that light, you are ready to fight because you believe you're empowered, which is normal with humans. When you give a human money and fame, you see the real color of the person. Rivals, which rivalry is bigger than Access Bank and Diamond Bank in the history of banking? None. None. 
So we're talking rubbish. We have big egos with small pockets. And we're not able to think about the bigger picture. When the CEO of Diamond Bank decided that he's going to merge and the chairman, somebody had to calm down for the other person. Mm. Today they have a bigger bank. And it most they're one of the biggest banks in Africa today. Anybody that can run a business successfully in Nigeria, you know, should be respected and been given uh, should be given that accolades because I always say that our system in Nigeria is built to make business fail. Trust me. So until we understand that what we have is peanuts, all of us, we are all eating small, small egg bag and gary, until we get and understand that we need to now do something big. But wasting our time, it can work. We just need to let go of our ego and think about the money. That's all. You need, we need to understand that this record label coming together team, even the record label see themselves as competitors. I read mm. business management and I understand what you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The record label see themselves as competitors. What if you are bringing them together and everybody demand okay, but if we're going to come together, this is what I want, this is what I want. You start facing that. We have a problem of greed. We have a culture of greed. Uh, and it spills to all sectors, not just not just the entertainment uh, industry. Like there's a there's a culture of greed that we do not like to identify. This culture of I'm better than my neighbor or I want to be better than my neighbor or I want to see how I can exploit my neighbor. It's 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 it's, it's smelling around the industry. So you see why I use that word and say you now you guys are only speak English. Listen to me. You, so I hear some people say investors talking about coming together. Also, let me tell you, just just make two points. Number one, investors they don't have patience. You know that one. Yeah. Investors want to put their money and see their money. Number two, the artist, they don't have patience. I'm somebody that I've had experience of signing artists, spent a couple of millions of naira. Bro, you'll find out that, see, artists, they don't respect contract. Mm. You know, why do you mm. think, why do you think some artists can openly fight record labels straight? Mm. Once an artist blue, he thinks he's bigger than the record level. Mm. The major thing is to have a watertight contract because I would let me take it to the US. I hate doing this. A, 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 an artist signed with a record label, they, they produce a single, they've listened to about 10 songs from you, they, they give you one video. If you don't work hard to blow with that one one video you only get second video mm. if you don't even work harder to blow they drop you they drop you they look for next james are you ready you ready to roll let's do it they do one video you don't try to blow second video they drop you they go to the next one are you ready if you're not ready but here what we do we take one artist we pamper them we with them from nowhere we upgrade them we do die ride or die with them until they finally blow you that you are working for towards an artist to blow you are praying for the artist to grow you are praying for the artist to be successful remember once the artist is successful he has money when you met him he has no money he came to you begging again now he's rich he can call he can produce his own video he can produce his own album it can go out without you and again there are so many influences communications talking to his head deceiving him that you don't need this guy this guy is eating your money and again from there you start having oh wait a minute now let me see what the hell is going on oh. let us not give up on the industry i think our hustle is paying off all right and i believe god that we are going to correct our mistakes and put things right and I think, so I respect all of you and I love you all. Root Boy, Tibblis, everybody, I can't mention all the names, but I love you guys and let's hold our industry. Let's not let it go. All right, Ubi, God bless you too for putting this Thank together. You, We're achieving a lot Thank from you. this. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really enjoyed your um, your live program and uh, I've learned a lot as well. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Cheers.
right. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, Thank, you. Appreciate you for coming. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate yeah. you for staying on through the show. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on the show. I really appreciate you for always watching. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really, I really appreciate you. Thank you.